Hey, what's up guys? This is Sam, and I'll be doing the free video for Friday, September 17th, 2021. So we just uh, wrapped up the Quad Witch expiration. Happens once a quarter, and today was the day. We did get some pretty good selling today. We've had some pretty good selling pretty much all week, and um, in doing so, it actually has <clears throat> broken a couple of the structures that I'm looking at on some of the most important charts. Not only are the structures a little bit uh, broken, but then your momentum, which is the key thing with this market at this, these specific levels, um, the momentum had already been shaky, and then today it just kind of toppled, right? So I'm going to show you two things that I'm looking at um, that are pretty big signals going into next week. <clears throat> you know, last week's video, the free video, we titled it Wrecking Ball. I think I showed you some of these signals that I'm going to show you again, but I'm just going to really focus on these two, three signals uh, that are really drivers for the entire market, right? If we had a better market, I would show you some tickers, this, that, or the other. I'll throw some tickers your way that I think look good at the end of this video, but at least for now, let's focus on what really matters, which is volatility, um, the dollar, and... Let's see if I can show you one more signal other than that. So with the VIX, the VIX can be a little tricky to read. Um, the reason being is because it just constantly trades sideways, as you can see here. Most of the time, there are some times where it has a little bit of a spunk under it. <clears throat> but by and large, it trades kind of in a downward channel and just kind of ping pongs like that. And uh, you know, it can make it a little bit tough to read. But one thing that I like to do with the VIX, uh, at least on a weekly time frame, which is what you're looking at now, weekly VIX, is look to see where the positioning of the moving average, or excuse me, the uh, the squeeze histogram is, right? Because you can't really fire, you know, you can see that it's in a squeeze right now, and by and large, it's usually in a squeeze. Um, but you can see how the histogram bars are getting closer and closer to zero. The closer that bar gets to zero, and probably by next week it will be at zero, the closer that this is to actually firing. Right, so I know I was doing the premium video for the folks in the gold room, and I just noticed this pattern, and I want to point it out to you. So, when's the last time that you had a buy signal like this, and a uh, <clears throat> a, a perfectly aligned squeeze? And the last time that you had one was back here, right, um, in the beginning of a part of uh, uh, February of 2020, right. So you can see here, you see how the squeeze is negative. It starts to turn up, climb, 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 climb. This is the week it goes flat. This is the week it goes positive. And then look what happens afterwards, right? It went from 15 to 85. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, um, you know, this was kind of a, a low key event that happened back then. I think it was something called uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, was introduced to the world. And that's the last time that I see this signal. So we we then fast forward to now, and what was the what was the kind of the the key thing back then? Flat histogram in a squeeze, double buy arrow. So then you look here, you're flattening out your squeeze, you're probably about a week away, double buy arrow. Even if we don't get this, and this would be, this isn't what I'm saying we get. That would, that's probably once in a decade, once in a, mm, that's a very low probability move. That doesn't happen very often. But could you get the VIX back to 30 based on this signal? Absolutely you could, right? It would kind of put it in line here with this trend line, and that would target right around 30, which would be about a 50% spike in the VIX, and that would correspond with a very big drop in the stock market. Right. So again, the reason I'm focusing so much on VIX with you guys is because if you understand this and the signal is true and it hits next week or the week after that, um, this is going to take everything down with it. Right. So <clears throat> this is something that you absolutely have to watch next week. Uh, if you'd like to do any kind of homework on your own over the weekend, I would certainly advise doing that because... Uh, uh, you, you know, if you understand the VIX dynamics, it, it's more important than any individual stock. So real quick here on the dollar. <clears throat> so the dollar here, this is a weekly chart. Actually, let me show it to you like this. We did cover this last in last week's video. We called the video Wrecking Ball. <laughs> and it certainly uh, came through. And how. So 
So now the problem is that the dollar is also getting a little spunky, right? A little spunky. So you have a downtrend here in the dollar. You can tell the 50 was downsloping, and your moving averages were downsloping. But what's changed? Well, notice how your 21, which is the most important one, whether it be a weekly or daily, you see how it's starting to hold? And do you see how the shape of the 50 is going from a downslope and starting to gently turn and try to flatten out? That's the very beginning of a, of a, trend, a major trend reversal. So you have this low, you have a higher low, you have this flat top here. It hasn't broken out yet, technically, right? But this is p the perfect structure to do so. Uh, you're starting to obey the trend, right, right here. You have the double bottom low, and you can call this kind of a cup and handle, you can call it whatever you want. I, I would just view it as a double bottom, um, but you can call it a cup and handle. I think that's that would be accurate as well. And then look at what the momentum indicator is doing. Do you see how now it's at the same level it was back here, but do you see how the momentum indicator has positively crossed? That's not necessarily the most bullish sign, right? So I won't spend too much more time on that. Um, I want to show you one more signal before the end of the video, but just understand the VIX, the dollar, and the next signal I'm going to show you, they're all working together uh, as kind of a bearish trifecta. So these are things that I think you're going to have to square next week as we go into the Fed decision. So the last thing I'm going to show you here is the interest rate. Now, what's one thing that the market really doesn't want to see is, uh, is is higher dollar and higher interest rates. That's kind of like the, you know, that's kind of the one-two, it's the one-two punch. You don't want to see that. It's specifically is going to hit tech the hardest if this were to come true. So we're looking at the 10-year interest rate right now. This is the TNX. Keep in mind, if this goes up, this means interest rates go up and it puts pressure on interest rate sensitive things. And guess what the most interest rate sensitive thing in the entire market is? It's tech right? So what's been leading the market higher? It's tech. So this is this strikes right at the heart of the leadership of the market. Now, let's just focus on the weekly for now, since the daily is a little messy. What do you see on the weekly there? Well, when's the last time you got a green arrow? Back here. Did that come through? I think so. Then you had a double warning sell and a sell. Did that come through? I think so. Now what do you have? Well, you have this little green boy again, right? Now you haven't had one in a while. The last one you got was back here. If that was capable of this, could this one be at least capable of getting it back to the previous highs? Potentially, potentially so. I'm not I'm not necessarily looking for all that. I am looking for a push kind of back into about 1, 14, 8, 15 here. But if you see this pattern, then this immediately gives you a trade and the trade would be short TLT. Um, you could also short tech if you believe this signal hits because there's almost 0% probability, uh, let's say 5%, just to leave it, leave it open, that if this signal is true and the dollar signal is true and the VIX signal is true, that tech isn't going to take it the hardest, right? So you could also short tech, but the direct trade that would happen here would be short TLT. Um, so notice how the trend oscillator here at the bottom, even though you have this big pullback into the weekly 50, it remained correct the whole time, green over red. And now you have the buy signal, green over red, holding the 50 above the 21. So this could take bonds up, uh, excuse me, this could take interest rates up very quickly and um, you know, be aware of what benefits from that. We've covered that in a lot of the Friday videos, the free videos as well. So if you feel like checking those out, just go back and look at look at uh, what we talk about in terms of what is inflationary, what likes this dynamic of higher interest rates, and what doesn't like this dynamic. I'll shortcut it for you, uh, and that is uh, banks typically perform better in this d dynamic, and tech performs the worst. So be aware of that as well. So to close out the video, I do want to throw a couple of good ideas your way that I think are still very bullishly aligned. So in the event that all three of these major, major signals that I'm showing you is completely off base and the Fed punts next week and everyone throws a party and all the signals go back into the bearish box from which they came, um, then these are the stocks that I think you want to be in. Number one, Home Depot. Home Depot's trading extremely well. It has a two-day squeeze, a three-day squeeze, a weekly squeeze, and it's in a sector that's also performing pretty well, which is XLY. So Home Depot is probably the best chart that I see in the market. Uh, aside from that, it's going to be the semiconductors. So AMAT, uh, SMH, <clears throat> NVIDIA, AMD, 
things like that. Um, Net, DDoG, which are kind of online cyber sec data, things like that. Um, Snap, I think performed extremely well today, all things considered. And I would probably cut it off there for now. So just a couple of good tickers that I'm sending your way, some of the best ones that I see in the market. Um, but the main thing with this video, guys, it's a long one, but it's an important one, probably one of the more important ones we've made, is when you do your work this weekend and when you go to you know, trade next week, understand the main thing driving these markets is not Amazon or Apple or Google, not anymore. It's the dollar, the bonds, and VIX. And all three of those right now have a triple... Uh, you know, major warning sign of things to come. So what's the trade on that? Well, you can short TLT, and that would play well with the bonds. You can short any of the indices, like the Qs or the SPY, Delta 30 puts out into November. And in the event that I'm wrong, and all the signals go back into the box, just check out the stocks that we just listed, Home Depot, DDoG, and the rest. And I think those are going to play very well in the market. So be aware of next week on Wednesday is Fed. Uh, big decision, probably the most important decision in any of our trading lives, as crazy as that may sound, because they're going to decide on the taper. And uh, yeah, understand your signals and follow them next week, guys. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and cut off the video there. Before you go somewhere else on the YouTube and check out uh, dachshunds or cats or squirrels or whatever it is that you like, I just named three things that I like, uh, leave us a like, leave us a dislike. It's your choice. Uh, but re regardless of which one you choose, uh, leave us a uh, click on the subscribe button. Help us out with the algorithm a little bit. Uh, I think we make pretty good content for you guys, so you know you can help us out for free by just leaving us a like, and leaving us a, a subscribe, and if you're not a member of Simpler Trading, come and check us out. I think the uh, the trial is like seven bucks, I think. Don't quote me on that, but uh, you'll get a chance to uh, hang out in the room, see what we do live, watch us trade our own money, and have a little bit of fun. So come and check us out at SimplerTrading.com. All right, guys, have a great day, great weekend. I'll see you guys next Friday. Cheers. Hey guys, this is Sam, and I'm the Director of Equities at Simpler Trading. I want to thank you for watching this video, and before you go somewhere else on the YouTube, I'd like to ask that you comment and like the video. It really does help us out with the algorithm and getting the message out to more folks who like to see our content. Also, be sure to click the bell notification and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything that comes out. If you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, come over to simplertrading.com and learn how to sign up. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you for the next video. Cheers.